We all sometimes secretly wish we could leave the struggles and strains of the daily grind behind and escape to a more carefree time. Perhaps even return to a childhood state of imagination and play. Well, a couple from Colorado went beyond wishing and actually did just that by relocating to a rainforest and creating a seemingly unreal community. Although their work is not exactly carefree, it is proof that the tough job of conservation can also be fun. Correspondent Michelle Begay transports us to Finca Bella Vista in Costa Rica. In the jungles of Costa Rica, there is a place that blurs the line between what is real and what is simply magic. The force from the waterfalls and the sounds of the insects make you realize it's not a painting. And as you swing from a tree in one of the endless zip lines, you feel you have never been more alive. But as soon as you see the structures in the treetops, it's hard not to believe you have crossed over to a fictional world where Ewok Star Wars characters really exist. This is Finca Bella Vista, a treehouse community. The initial reaction from our friends and family when we first said, hey, we're going to move to the rainforest and build an Ewok village ranged anywhere from your nuts to, wow, that sounds really awesome. I wish I could do that, but mostly your nuts. I don't know, I just kind of blurted out. I was like, well, there's some really cool trees there. Maybe we can build a tree house on the property. I mean, I just remember looking across the table at Matt and um, seeing the spark in his eyes and seeing his reaction and being like, this is gonna be the moment in my life where everything changed and I'm gonna remember it. And it was. Matt Hogan and his wife, Erica, are the creators of a real life fantasy world. Living in Colorado back in 2006, they were looking for a fixer-upper in beautiful Costa Rica to get away from cold weather a couple of months a year. During their search, they came across an ad that would change their lives. Cut the lumber, make it into a cattle ranch and earn your investment back, which we obviously had no interest in doing. But there was a picture of a river you know, on the property and Matt called the agent and he was like, is that... Is that river on the property? And he's like, oh yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful property. You know, there's streams and everything. 62 acres of land was much more than they had planned to purchase. But knowing it would all become lumber, they contacted family and friends and found a way to afford it. The, the first two years were very difficult because you, um, I mean, you just can't even explain what it's like to, to move to a, a new country not know the language, not have any friends, not have a job, have no financial security, and you're camping out in a tent in the middle of the rainforest. Slowly, they began building and finding creative ways to adapt to their surroundings. Safety in the design is a primary concern. The first step is the botanist coming in, certifying the trees, and from there, we design around the natural environment. To date, half of the lots have been sold, and eight tree houses have been built because you know, people oftentimes go into the house and they look at the bed and they say, how did you get this bed up in this tree? They say, you know, the bed, how about the, the 700 pound four by 12s that are 26 feet long under the house? In addition to bedrooms, each treehouse interior boasts a bathroom and kitchen with running water, internet service and porch platforms with a view. The solar powered community also has a gravity fed water system from rainwater catch tanks. But we just try to ask all of those questions. You know, is it more important to you to watch sunset with a cocktail at the end of the day, or do you prefer coffee in the morning, bird watching in the east? Ah! Zip lines and rope bridges are also used as means to travel in between homes. Okay, Hannah, would you mind helping her? As you listen to Matt and Erica speak Spanish with their 13 local employees, the trials they went through seven years ago seem a distant memory. Their morning meetings to give a language lesson to workers and volunteers shows a high comfort level and good camaraderie. Tres más palabras. I mean, ¿qué? Al, al, ¿qué? Okay, that, I'm going to need help spelling that one. The community works like a family with a free flow of ideas. 
The garden where fresh fruit and vegetables grow is a labor of love led by the Costa Rica native Rey Zuniga Altamirano, who has worked with the Hogans from the start of the project. Aparte, hace siete años que esto era como... Seven years ago, this was a jungle. With some of our experience and knowledge, now it has grown. It is beautiful now, and every day it looks better and better. Finca Bay Vista is located in a very impoverished part of Costa Rica, and there aren't many job opportunities here. Outside of working in a palm plantation, being sprayed with pesticides or hauling lumber out of the forest, there aren't many job opportunities here. It's a very agricultural, very rural society that we live in down in this area. So a major reason why we started the Finca was to provide job opportunities in the area. And our, our employees are the most loyal, most hardworking, you know, wonderful people. And most of them have been with us since day one. From 62 acres, the project is now 600 acres with only 140 used for the tree houses and the rest kept for conservation. The owners of the tree houses have wanted to rent them out which has made it a perfect getaway spot for curious tourists. The silver lining is that it has allowed more than 10,000 people to come here and experience the Finca. I mean, we have thousands of people a year that come here to stay in a treehouse to see the rainforest, unfortunately, before it's gone. But people come in, and, and that was a part of the business we never even thought about. All the volunteers you meet are firm believers in the community's covenants of conservation and sustainable development. For Matt New and Kelly Grant, the views were so in line with their way of thinking that since their arrival from London last year, they haven't left. It's pure living. It's pure. It's, it's, it's green. The world's got itself in a big hurry, and we've just slowed things down, yeah. And there's no need for all the stress and all the added anxiety and tension. Just live life simply and to its purest. Finca Bella Vista and the Costa Rica motto, Pura Vida, couldn't have suited them more. Michelle referred to the Ewoks of the Star Wars movie series in her piece, but Costa Rica was the actual shooting location for another famous science fiction film, Jurassic Park. In fact, tourism officials announced earlier this year that construction has begun on the first real-life version of Jurassic Park in Costa Rica. The theme park complete with live prehistoric dinosaurs is expected to open next year.